so when uh, we talk about the location of the human heart so the heart of man it is located into the thoracic cavity in the earlier example that the example of the bird we also have seen that the heart is present into the thoracic cavity now here our uh, that means in the case of the human that thoracic cavity ends with a diaphragm so when we talk about this uh, position so the position is above the diaphragm okay and when we uh, talk about the part where it, that it is present into the mid ventral and wall so it is present in between two lungs when we were talking about the respiratory system children you remember i told you that the lungs are bit modified to uh, occupy the heart so yes that was the position of the heart now here in this particular diagram only and only uh, the heart and blood vessels are shown now when we talk about the shape so till uh, now with evolution we all have seen that bit conical shape is been set up and it has been uh, going ahead into the evolution so the shape of the heart is triangular now tell me which is the base the broad one or the narrow one what is the base till now we have seen now see i am marking this part as a and this downward is b so tell me the base is a or b come on fast what is the base of the heart am i audible yes ma'am so what is the base a is the base or b even if you are wrong just try for the answer yes which part is base base of the heart what do you think this is the base or this part is the base a or b b b think about it and say sure hmm a man yes who saying a this is 85 yes very good a is the base the heart always remember the heart is kept ulta in our body this is the base and this is the apex okay always remember this point so the heart is triangular shape its uh, base is broad and the base is placed at the interior part and the uh, narrow apex it is kept in, or it uh, you can say in the bit posterior side actually not the posterior side but it is at the downward side so the base is broad in the case of the heart now you if you observe the position you will see it is not kept very seedha it is bit just oblique and it, uh, it is just behind the sternum so one third of the heart lies uh, to the right side and two third of the heart into the medium plane most of the time we uh, have a misconcept ki hamara heart left side mein hai so you always remember one third of the heart is at the right side okay when we will make three part to so three part mein se one part is at the right side and two part at the left side so our heart is one third at the right side and two third at the left side but still we feel our heart beat at the left side more because we know the ventricle region is more stout and it uh, you can say uh, have the heart beat or whatever uh, type of the contraction it is much more powerful so that's why heart beat we can feel much better into the left side so when we talk about the heart beat so heart beat we know it is for uh, form because of the contraction of the heart 
सो दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन वी फील के आवर हार्ट इज एट द लेफ्ट साइड नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द पेरिकार्डियम कैन एनी वन टेल मी वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द पेरिकार्डियम यस now uh, i guess the same question i am asking third time in the class what is ha uh, protect layer of excellent excellent answer pericardium is the uh, outermost covering human with modification there is uh, no modification into the pericardium yaha par uh, jo hai simply saying we were two layers we have learned what are the name of the two layer of the pericardium children yes inner and outer two layer are there in between fluid are there this much we have learned and again and again almost in all heart we have seen this type of layer so what is the name of the inner pericardium and outer pericardium parietal pericardium visceral pericardium excellent we have learned the visceral pericardium and parietal pericardium who's this anam very good anam so there are uh, two membrane and see now this uh, in between two layer is there so there is a sac and this sac will have the fluid okay now till now we have seen that in between whatever cavity was that that cavity was we, uh, filled with the pericardial or you can say the serous fluid so here now proper sac like structure will be there and this sac is filled with the serous fluid so this is the advancement into the pericardium in the case of the human heart you need to remember that inner pericardium or outer pericardium that is your visceral and parietal so in between that there is a pericardial sac note it down there is a pericardial sac and this pericardial sac contains the serous fluid now when we uh, talk about the size so it is just close your fist and it is the size of that fist only approximate 12 cm matlab in general everyone's fist very uh, so but exactly it is uh, Uh, not like the face in uh, you can say approximate size is like the once faced so approximate 12 cm in length and 9 cm into the width now when we talk about the weight so in the case of the male the heart weight 300 g and when we talk about in the case of the adult female so it is approximate to 50 g that is pau kilo chambers when we talk about so definitely there are four chambers which includes the right and left atria below which right and left ventricles are there then there is a interventricular groove or coronary sulcus now see in the previous example we have seen this modification is done so in the bird only we have seen such type of the modification that coronary sulcus is present that means the atria uh, and your ventricle they are not continuous but instead they have the uh, se proper separation and a groove kind structure is been formed that groove is called as the coronary sulcus now when we uh, talk about the this sulcus so anteriorly it is uh, not as such visible it is hidden by the aorta as well as the pulmonary trunk so you will not find it properly but when you will see outside so it is visible like here you can see <clears throat> now within atria so there is a in inter arterial groove where both inter auricular groove or you can say the inter arterial groove is present when we talk about the ventricle so inter ventricular groove is present now this groove uh, they are separating it when we talk about the inter ventricular groove so it is lies to the left margin of the heart you can observe it properly here 
then we talk about the posterior interventricular groove so it is to the right margin of the heart so up now why one is at the left margin when is at the right margin because this particular uh, heart or this particular organ is kept oblique so for that particular reason the interior group is coming towards the right margin and the posterior it is coming towards the left margin okay now when we talk about apex of the heart so it is formed entirely by the left ventricle as you all can see here the base of the heart is formed mainly by the left side of the atrium okay you can see this is the base so yahan par majority you will observe is of the left atrium and small part of the right atrium is also been involved but major uh, major part is made up of the left atrium now right atrium when we talk about so it is elongated vertically present it receiving now uh, what it will receive right side which side which type of blood will come yes right side atrium which type of blood will come i'm talking about this chamber yes this side this chamber will receive which blood right atrium yes come on fast we have learned so many heart now till now we know what is the function of the right atrium the function is the collecting blood but from where deoxygenated yes deoxygenated deoxygenated blood from the body excellent so right atrium it is going to collect the deoxygenated blood from the body now we have seen for this collecting specialized duct are present and these are known as the cavel uh, ducts so here we can see at the upper part uh, we have the superior vena cava and at the lower end we have the inferior vena cava and a shallow vertical groove is present which is called as the sulcus terminal so this passes from the superior vena cava to the inferior vena cava upper part of this particular type of sulcus it contains the sino arterial node it is also called as the sa node now see sa node uh, a question can ask the sa node is present at dash right atrium left atrium right ventricle left ventricle now student they get confused that ventricles they are more powerful that means it might be at the ventricle it is present at the right atrium so one sa node is present here on this what is that diagram this sa node is a pacemaker of the heart pacemaker means it is a specialized muscles that starts the heartbeat that now see when we were talking about the rhythm so i told you that this rhythm passes successfully that means it is going ahead so this rhythm is start from this particular side uh, from the right atrium and it is spread it over the heart now how it spread it the cell of the heart or you can see the cardiac muscles they have the specialized gap junction and this gap junction take this particular rhythm ahead when we talk about the right ventricle so uh, it is a triangular chamber it receives blood from the right atrium and further it is going to pump blood to which organ student from the right atrium where the blood will go Uh, sorry right atrium to right ventricle it will come from right ventricle where it will go right ventricle deoxygenated blood think about it where it will go yes where it will go deoxygenated blood come on fast student be very quick in answering what is the purpose of this practice 
make the blood oxygenated so where the blood will go lung very good so from the right side atrium the blood will be pumped inside to the right side of the ventricle and from the right ventricle it is going to pump inside the lungs and uh, how it will go through the pulmonary trunk and we have learned about this particular pulmonary trunk that now see this is the opening of the pulmonary trunk we know this pulmonary trunk it divides further and becomes the pulmonary artery question this type of question can be asked that pulmonary artery comprise hai dash type of the blood ab ye yaad rakhne wali baat hai it is going from the your right side of the heart and we have learned in the last lecture only right side of the heart is the venous heart it comprise of the deoxygenated blood so although name is artery but pulmonary artery is the only artery in the body which comprises the deoxygenated blood so now here this pulmonary aorta it is arising from your left Uh, sorry right side of the ventricle so this will be divided and it will go uh, by after bifurcation it will go to the two side that is the right side and the left side so right side pulmonary artery will be going to the right side of the lung and left side pulmonary artery will be going to the left side of the lung so this is about the pulmonary circulation now blood inside the lung you all know very well what will happen it will uh, do the gaseous exchange how this gaseous exchange happens we have learned in detail into the uh, respiration part now if this particular uh, deoxygenation is done lung has finished its task now it has to give the blood back to the heart now see blood is entering in the heart two times one times the deoxygenated blood is entering from the body and one time from the lungs so that's why this type of circulation is called as the double circulation okay now lung have the specialized veins okay these you need to remember it is important that pulmonary veins are the only veins in the body which comprise of the oxygenated blood okay remember lungs ka dono cheez ulta hai artery is bringing the deoxygenated blood and vein is bringing the oxygenated blood that we need to remember now here like bahuts only four pulmonary veins are there two from the right side of the heart coming to uh, and two from the left side of the heart coming so this four pulmonary vein will bring the oxidized blood now this particular uh, blood will be drawn inside your left side of the atrium and further it will be going to this oxygenated blood will go to the which part now left side of the ventricle and from the left ventricle well uh, this will be going to the body that is the aorta this will this is our aorta now this aorta is something like that ab ye piche hai isliye drawn in kiya gaya this is your aorta from the aorta it will be given to the systemic circulation so uh, here uh, we have not discussed about the valves is uh, at the site of the left atrium and uh, left side of the ventricle bicuspid valves are there that is also called as the mitral valve and your right side there are the tricuspid valve so this is about the general anatomy when we talk about the uh, functioning do we have a time yes we have 10 minutes when we talk about the internal structure so you can say there is a continuous partition it separates left chamber from the, the right side of the chamber a proper partitioning is there and i told you that uh, in the case of the reptile we have seen it was just a membranous septa but now here 
in the in the case of the bird also we have observed this particular thing is made up of the muscle so there is a very continuous thick partition is there and the auricular portion of the partition if you will observe it is fibrous and it is called as the inter auricular septum but when we talk about the ventricular portion of this partition it is properly muscular and this is called as the inter ventricular septum so the uh, left auricle it opens into the left ventricle by auricular ventricular aperture we have learned that this auricular ventricular uh, aperture it is having the two cusps so that's why it is called as the bicuspid or mitral wall right side i told you there is a tricuspid uh, three cusps are there so it is called as the tricuspid wall so uh, this particular triangular leaf like flaps uh, form the leaf like uh, type of appearance and it is guided by the tricuspid wall when we talk about the apices of this particular flap so they are held in position now in the previous lecture also we have learned that there are the extra musculature uh, type of things are there which which is called as a coordinate and knee so these are the things which are otherwise how this uh, this machinery it is beating so faster and it is having so much power to pump so how these things are held into the position so to held the valve into the position and to prevent its opening uh, there are specialized muscle that are known as the chordae tendine now see student you might have heard ki uske valve mein problem hai uska valve kharab hai heart ka valve uh, kaam nahi kar raha hai there is a hole into the heart valve you might have heard all this thing सो होल नहीं होता है एक्चुअली एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम उनके जो ये पर्टिकुलर मसल्स और टेंडिनेस पार्ट होते हैं दे आर नॉट प्रॉपर दिस कॉर्ड इट टेंडिनेस सो समाइम्स विद द ओपन हार्ट सर्जरी दिस थिंग्स आर अप्लाइड आर्टिफिशियली एंड दे डू द सर्जरी ऑफ इट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फ्रॉम वेर इट कम्स सो द वेंट्रिकल वॉल्व जो होती है so at that particular site specialized muscle which are called as the papillary muscle so this chordae tendine they arise from the papillary muscle now this pulmonary uh, veins or you can say the pulmonary aorta we have discussed so we here also in the case of the bird also we have learned that they will be having the semi lunar valves this semi lunar valves they are present into the right, right ventricle and this semi lunar wall they are also present into the pulmonary artery the point of origin of aorta is the left ventricle now see here opening is there into the left ventricle uh, sorry right side of the ventricle right side ventricle mein opening kyu hai because the task of this particular pulmonary aorta is to take the blood to the lung the blood is going for the oxygenation so that's why it is arising from your right side of the ventricle now when we talk about the uh, this uh, opening from the left side of the ventricle to yahan se aorta ki opening hoti hai and this point origin of this particular aorta this is also guarded by the three pocket shape of the aortic semi lunar wall so opening of the this is semi lunar wall this is also semi lunar wall now another important ducts we have learned is the vena cava okay so this vena cava also have the uh, specialized valve you need to remember it's better to note down inferior vena cava it is guarded by eustachian valve e u s t a c h a i n okay so inferior vena cava it is guarded by the eustachian valve and the opening of the coronary sinus it is guarded by the thebaian uh, ring so here all the valve we all need to remember so this is all about your structure or you can say the anatomy of the heart we will revise it once again we have the four chamber and yes yes yeah sure uh, you are asking about walls right you are asking to uh, repeat the valve now 
so see student we have learned the three type of valve the one valve is present in now see jo bhi important duct se this all will be having the valve so first ventricle se it is coming the pulmonary aorta so pulmonary aorta is having the semi lunar valve okay then next important duct we have learned is the aorta it is also having the semi lunar valve aortic semi lunar valve okay then when we talk about the vena cava so inferior vena cava it is guarded by the eustachian valve and coronary sinus it is guarded by the thebacian valve t h a b e s i a n thebacian ring it is a ring actually but valve only you can say so this is about the valve let let us again revise the chamber we have the right atrium we have the right ventricle entry of the blood deoxygenated blood happens or start from the right atrium through the vena cava it has the two vena cava and one is the coronary sinus the uh, superior vena cava is bringing the deoxygenated blood from the interior part of the body and inferior vena cava it is bringing the blood from the inferior or you can say the posterior part of the body and this uh, coronary sinus it is bringing uh, the deoxygenated blood from the heart now when we uh, talk about the uh, further portion so this right atrium this it further passes the wall of blood you can say to the right side of the ventricle now this uh, why it is giving to the right side ventricle because we have learned that the ventricle is more muscular and it is the distributing chamber atrium ka kaam sirf collection hai it is a collecting type of the chamber so now uh, blood will be further has to taken to the lungs so from the ventricle the blood will be going to the pulmonary aorta this pulmonary aorta divides into the pulmonary artery and uh, divide into two pulmonary artery the left and right and respectively both are going to the each side of the lung then from the lung the gaseous exchange will occur and this uh, oxygenated blood will be brought by the pulmonary vein to the left side of the heart that is the left atrium okay after collecting the oxygenated blood the left atrium will be giving the blood to the left side of the ventricle and this uh, left side of the ventricle will be returning to the blood to the systemic circulation through the aorta right side we have the tricuspid valve the left side we have the bicuspid valve at the auriculoventricular aperture so this is about the anatomy of the heart physiology will be uh, quite similar which we have learned in the case of the bird but we'll discuss into the next class so for this note we'll stop now any doubt you'll have you can ask me yes any doubts no ma'am no, ma so we can stop at this note